Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. The tarot card for today is The Magician from the Muse Tarot by artist Chris Ann Donnelly. And I am so excited to hear from all of you about having purchased the Muse Tarot and the Light Seer Tarot. They are both great decks. You will not be disappointed. She's a really incredible artist, and you will love using these decks for reading. Now, I am so excited about having this card today, all right? We have not seen it in a while, and it is majorly about the magic today. When you think about yesterday, having had the Two of Swords, and we always see the depicted figure with the blindfold over their eyes, kind of remind you of a magician's act, doesn't it, right? Where there's always that person whose eyes are blindfolded. And then it's kind of like, voila, how did he do that, right? Amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, it's like pulling off an incredible feat. So there's something that's going on here. And I am excited, I'm telling you. Well, you know, when we see the magician, we think of power, we think of creation, we think of using all of your resources that are available to you, and even getting some new skill sets if you need to acquire them. You know, we've been talking about this all year, about, you know, finding new things that perhaps you should be learning. I want to read something to you today, okay? It comes from my calendar of planetary events. We have an aspect that's happening today mid-morning here where I am, and it is Mars, which is currently in shadow in its home sign of Aries. So, mm, it's in a good place. Square Jupiter, which is currently retrograde in Capricorn. Now, this is very interesting here. You can accomplish great things with this aspect, provided you take into account the characteristics of the planets themselves and adjust accordingly. There is abundant energy here and the impetus for getting things done. Mars can be pushy and aggressive, often lashing out abrasively, speaking and acting without forethought or regard for the consequences of his actions. Jupiter, on the other hand, can see the big picture, but has a tendency to bite off more than he can chew. The ability to pace yourself and use this energy wisely can produce wondrous results with you finding yourself to be brave enough to perhaps try things you never thought you would. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? It's a little, you know, when, when we hear square, sometimes we're like, mm, it's a little bit intense, right? But this is a good intense, right? Being urged to take some action. And the magician has that power to make things happen. Now we have something else happening today, which is very important. Mercury, our planet of thought and communication, has been in the emotional sign of Cancer since May 28th, which is a really long time. Mercury usually only spends about two weeks in each sign before it moves along because it's a very quick moving little planet, right? Now, here's the thing. Today, very late in the day, Mercury finally leaves Cancer. It's been there for an extended period of time, having had a, you know, complete Mercury retrograde cycle that took place there, including the shadow periods. Today, it's moving into Leo. Late in the day, but nevertheless, I think this Magician card has an energy that's building for you. And what you'll find once Mercury has entered Leo, is a boost in confidence. You know, there's nothing like something good happening in your life to make you feel better about yourself, right? There's a lot of power that's here in this card today, and it is not about anyone else. It is about you and what you can accomplish. Like I said, I am excited, really, truly excited to see this. It's been too long and you know it's just amazing many of you have reached a point where you kind of understand what it is that you know like you need to do 
in life, new things, different things. Many of you have embarked on new paths. Perhaps you're looking for a new place to live, a new job, getting, re you know, getting ready to do something bigger and better. This is an incredible month, and it's one of the most important of the entire year. And to be doing nothing or just be off on vacation would be, you know, just the wrong thing to be doing right now. Because what you hope to accomplish in life really matters <laughs> right at this moment, okay? Take advantage of what is on offer from the universe, okay? Now, we have some really wonderful things happening this week. We will see also, not today, but we will see Venus also switch signs after having had its Venus retrograde in the sign of Gemini. So stay tuned because we have a lot to talk about here. And these energy shifts that are happening are very important. And this aspect that is here today is one that can, you know, might shake you up a little bit. But if you get things done, you'll be so proud of yourself. And what you can create with this magician, what you can accomplish, you have so much that's about to come to you. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.